Hello, I'm Oklahoma City artist in residence Erica Bonavita, and today I'll be bringing you a abstract realism bird painting workshop that is sponsored through the City of Oklahoma City and the Oklahoma City Arts Council. So what does it mean to paint something in an abstract realism style? Um, basically what it means is we take the imagery of realism and we simplify it down to some of its more basic parts. And what this does for us is it allows for a more whimsical style and something that is a little more approachable for the beginner artist. And it also allows the opportunity for a more experienced artist to loosen up their style a little bit. So it's really fun. It's really beneficial for pretty much anyone at any skill level. Um, so it, I think it would be a really fun thing to work on. Um, Right here is an example of the style we'll be working in. Um, and what we're looking to do is just get the roundabout ideas of the birds that we're wanting to paint. So for a cardinal, we definitely are gonna be looking for that triangular crest on the top of their head, and there's a distinct shape to their beaks. And so whenever you're looking for your imagery for the bird that you want to paint, you are going to be simplifying the shape. So we're looking at an oval here, there's a sphere for the head, there's a bit of a triangle down here, and that's all that you, all the information you really need to get through to the viewer what it is that you're trying to portray. So if you wanted to simplify it to just those elements, it would still be a recognizable uh, shape and you would know, hey, I think that's a bird. Even if you just did straight lines and a little bit of a swoop, it would come across. So that's what's really, really fun about this particular style. So let's talk a little bit about where do we find our imagery. Um, your opportunities for this are pretty um, expansive. You can go as simple as outside uh, on your back porch or at a park and observe the birds take um, sketches. You could take pictures with your cell phone or you could go online and look at the basic shapes of the birds that you're wanting to paint. With using an internet image, you do want to be careful not to um, any kind of copyright infringement by copying exactly what it is. You're just wanting to look at um, kind of some of the characteristics that all of that particular species have in common and boil it down to that whenever you're moving into your imagery that you want to work with. Um, and you can also go find certain apps online. There's um, Unsplash is the one that I like to use the most where these images are specifically for artists to use in their work and so there is no copyright issue there if you wanted to really um, spend some time copying a, a particular image until you're comfortable um, kind of reducing other other images down. Um, so let's get started. Um, we'll talk about the basic supply list that we're going to need. So you're going to want to have paint, obviously. Now you can use either acrylic or oil, whatever you're more comfortable with. I'm going to be working in oil today and you just really need a basic set Primary colors with a black and white is all that you need to mix up what you're looking for. Um, you'll want to have a pencil so that you can sketch the image down. You'll want to have a few different size brushes, probably a small detail brush, a medium size brush, and then something really large for blocking in. And also what I find really important for this particular style whenever I approach it is to have a palette knife. And so the benefit of having a palette knife is it really allows you to put a lot of movement into the piece. And it also allows for some really interesting textures that you wouldn't get with a brush. So this is a really, really fun tool to utilize whenever you're doing this. Um, you'll also need something to paint on. Your options are either you could use wood panels, you can do pre-stretched canvas panels that you can get at any arts and crafts store, or um, I'll be working on an unstretched canvas panel that I've hand dressed myself. So we will get started. So the background is a really fun part of this painting process because it can be left so ambiguous. You don't need to define any shapes with this. You can just kind of get in there, get a big brush, um, and just slap some color in. And really all you're looking for is a little bit of color variety. So, you know, some lights and some darks and, you know, a color that's going to coordinate really nicely with the final colors you're going to choose for your bird.
So because I've gone with this really bright kind of chartreuse green in the background, I've decided to go ahead and do a cardinal, which is one of my favorite birds to paint. It's such a distinct uh, shape to it. And I just think that the color palette that we've got working here would lend itself so well to be paired with a cardinal. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. And instead of sketching it with pencil, I'm just gonna go ahead and sketch it with a paintbrush. Initially, all we're trying to do here is create the shape of a bird with a little bit of oval and we're starting to see some of the tail and the wings kind of roughed in. As you're painting, you may find that you need to make some corrections to the shapes. This is easily done by diluting your paint and moving the paint around either by, with water with acrylics or with mineral spirits with oil paints. If you're going to do a little bit more detail on your painting, I really recommend doing this on the face of the bird. You can really add a lot of personality by defining the beak and the eyes. One of my favorite parts of this process of painting is using the palette knife to create movement. You simply take the palette knife and load it up with the color that you are looking for and you drag it through the painting to create a sense of movement. So you can do this with the wing and the crest of the bird and this shows not so much the shape that the um, wing or the crest would have had, but where it would move through space. And this is what gives us the sense of movement in the painting. And that is how you create a simplified abstract realism painting of a bird. I hope you guys enjoyed, thanks.